question. New at 11, could it be a key to solving a legendary mystery tonight? A Connecticut man and his discovery that could change everything we've heard about Atlantis. The name conjures up a lot of images. Certainly does, but the mystery of the lost city may be closer to being solved, all because of a University of Hartford archaeologist. NBC Connecticut's Jeff Copperstone joins us live from the campus where that professor shared his new findings as part of a documentary. Jeff. Lisa, Keisha, this is pretty cool stuff. The research more than a year in the making tonight before a packed house. The professor told the people about what he discovered. Don't let his bow tie and professorial jacket fool you into thinking this teacher just stays in the classroom. It's an interesting job, and it's really what, what makes teaching uh, great. Because what University of Hartford professor and archaeologist Richard Freund has discovered in the mud flats of southern Spain could be the lost city of Atlantis. Why are people so fascinated by it? It's about that perfect world, the beginnings of civilization. This team of obsessed scientists believe they finally hit the jackpot. Freund and his team have been serving the marshlands in Spain looking for proof the lost city is buried underneath. They map the land using ground radar and what amounts to a virtual MRI. The clues they found, from artifacts to geological formations matching Plato's description of the city, are being featured in a National Geographic documentary, Finding Atlantis. I think we found the best candidate for what was the beginnings of civilization. The university held an advanced screening, highlighting Freund's work. It's an ancient statuette, probably at least 2,000 years old. Something this local crowd is very proud to see. It's impressive what, uh, what he's found. I think just, it's just wonderful to, for the university. He made some good points and he had some great evidence. I found the makings of one of the largest and most ancient cities at the bottom of a huge marsh. And the documentary airs this Sunday night on the National Geographic Channel at 9 o'clock. And you can see the professor is prominently featured in a lot of it. For now, we're live in West Hartford. I'm Jeff Saperstone, NBC Connecticut News. Lisa and Keisha. Love it. Thanks.